turkey season literally starts in two days, but I did just put this red dot on my shotgun. And so we're out here today. I'm just gonna make sure it's sighted in good enough to kill a turkey. Now the good thing about sighting in a turkey gun is that you don't have to use turkey shells to do it. You can use these cheap field loads just for uh, just to make sure that the red dot's on. Tell me when you're ready. Huh? Send, send it. Check it out. So I aimed right there in the middle of that sticker, punched a hole straight through it. I do not need to use a $5 shell to figure out that my red dot is dead on. But since we're out here, let's do something a little fun. I need those metal little silhouettes. Right there, there's one. There we go, boys. I'm gonna go one, two, three, and uh, try out this red dot for the first time. I am using a 20 gauge, but honestly, compared to a 12 gauge for most hunting, I definitely don't think it's underpowered. What I love about this reticle is that it is a circle. So with that circular reticle being on a shotgun, that actually gives me a pretty good idea of the pattern that this shotgun's gonna throw. I'm pretty excited to use it for rapids and squirrels and stuff in the fall, but as for now, turkey's the only thing I got to go with. Ready, I'm gonna just go one, two, three. All right. Here we go. Oh. Pre hunt interview, what are, we, what, are we, what are we thinking? I mean, just two dudes in camo walking on a. You know, we're on a road. two laner right now. I believe I heard at least three because they gobbled at the same exact time. He was 30 yards from us. We just couldn't see him. And then he just stopped gobbling. Head out. We were close, guys. We were really, really close. Mid-morning update. We got we saw a turkey, but we don't see no more turkeys. We just gonna sit here and chill. Look at the look at the leaves and stuff. We're just gonna sit here until something gobbles and then if it gobbles, we'll go at it. There we go. That's a good one out there. Let's see what you got, big KG. That's actually pretty good. That's all I'm doing. It's enough. If them bad boys want a piece of me, they can come get it. Playing hard to get. I ain't no simp.
It's getting kind of late. It's like nine. I've been here in one gobble, but it's actually around the ridge and pretty much on the other side of the holler. So I'd much rather find one closer. Let me just say that. But he is gobbling. In the meantime though, I'm gonna take a seat. And I'm gonna think about it a little bit. Big thanks to Tidewee because they're actually sponsoring this video with their Tidewee turkey hunting vest. Now as you can see, there's just a ton of different specialty pockets on this thing. You got one over here that you can put a box call into. I put my shells in this one right here. These over here on this side are specially fitted for slate calls. This pocket right here is actually probably for the little scraper things, but I found that it just fits my phone perfectly and it's right where I want it to be. That's what I keep in that pocket. It's got strong straps because listen buddy, you're gonna be carrying this a lot, but the biggest game changer is this big old butt cushion. But it also has legs that stick out. So like I plop this, ooh, ooh. so I plop this thing down like that. Come back here, pop them legs out. Boom. I can just sit here like this. And I can about go sleep like this. And then when you're done with it, just push these legs back in. Pull that up. Snaps into place just like that. If you want to check out the Tidewe turkey hunting vest, go ahead to Tidewe.com. I'm going to put the link, first link in the description, and use promo code KG20. That's going to get you 20% off everything on their website, including the turkey vest. For that turkey, I'm going to have to cover like half a mile, literally, to get to him, because he's on the other side of the holler, and I'm going to have to make my way all the way around the ridge to get to him. It ain't going to be easy. If I never go over there, I'm never going to kill him, so just take off. I'm going to put down the camera, and I'll pick back up with you guys once I get close. He knows exactly where I am. I yelped a little bit back there. He gobbled. I yelped some right now. He gobbled. He's not that far away. He knows exactly where I am. I'm gonna leave that boy on red. I'm ignoring him because whenever you're turkey hunting, you want the gobbler to think you don't hear him. And so if you yelp back every time he gobbles, he's like, dude, she knows exactly where I am. She's just gonna come to me. This is what I'm looking at. I can't see. I can't see very far in front of me. But that's actually a good thing because he can't see me either. I just walked about two miles to get to him. Guys, he's coming right to me. He's coming. Yes. Yes. Let's stink and go. Yes! Yes! Oh my goodness. That did not take long at all. And I knew I needed to be quiet. Because if I would have kept yelping, 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 he would have said, well, she knows where I am. She's coming to me. You can hear him down there flopping. Let's go get him. I gotta go get this guy before he flops to the bottom. Oh my goodness, this bird is huge. This is a giant bird. Oh my goodness, this bird is massive. Look at those spurs. And that TSS destroyed his head. I literally turkey hunted for the first time about this exact time one year ago. You do not need to have expensive equipment or a lot of expertise to come out here and kill a turkey. I'm gonna give a real quick shout out to Jesus because uh, he made that and now I'm gonna eat it. What do you think about it? I don't know what to think. His name's Jared. Is he a boy? Oh yeah. I think he, he is something else. Well guess what? What? You're on a hidden camera game show. This is a prank. It's a fake, oh. it's a fake turkey. Yeah, he ain't. All right guys, Mammy has requested to get a picture with the turkey in her lap. All right, well here you go. Let okay. it just sit on you. It's heavier than a kid. Jeez, Mammy. Like this? Yeah, let's get a picture. This is a big gobbler, ain't it?
crap. Harry hate crap. If you want to watch last year's video, the first turkey I ever killed, click right over here. We're right over here for the video where Mamie killed a deer for her first time. And her only time.